Um, hello, grade 8. So this is our first topic for this week. So actually, I've already discussed to you about rational expressions, identifying rational expressions, uh, evaluating, uh, as well as simplifying rational expressions. So today, um, you can use those prior knowledge about um, for this new topic. Okay, so multiplying and dividing rational expressions. So we have, um, I have here an example. So first example ko is multiplication muna, okay? So mamaya meron, um, meron akong division and then combination din ang dalawa, okay? So ito muna. So dito po, um, we have 12xyz over 4y cubed times 6y squared over z cubed po. So dito, para mas mabilis, as long um, pag may once na kaya nyo mag-cancel out, gawin nyo po, Okay? Pero to the point naman na talaga may makakancel out, okay? So, wag naman yung magkakancel out kayo dahil gusto nyo lang, okay? So, sa tignan nyo lang muna mabuti yung mga events natin. Kung sa tingin nyo may makakancel out po sila. So, dito 12xyz and then 4y cubed. Pwede namang ito muna, okay? So, dito ang 12 ba? Pwede ba? Uh, kaya ba siyang i-divide ng 4? Yes po. Okay? So, di ba? 4 times 3 is 12 po. So, ibig sabihin, pwede siya. So, pwede natin cancel out. So, si 12, magiging 3 na lang. And then, si 4, syempre, nag-cancel out tayo sa kanya, magiging 1 po siya. Di ba? 4 divided by 4 is 1. Next, um, x, wala po tayong x sa baba. Y, ayun, meron po tayong y. So, ilan ng y natin dito? Isa, dito, tatlo. So, kung saan yung mas mataas, syempre, doon yung may matitira. So, y, cancel out na po. And then, si 3 magiging 2 na lang siya. Kasi, binawasan na natin ng isang y. Which is galing dun sa taas natin. Okay? Next. Ayun, si wala na. So, dito wala na tayong cancel out. Next. How about for this second expression? 6 y, um, 16 y squared over z cube. 16, wala na ng coefficient. Y, to, ito, z po. So, wala na. So, ang next step natin, try naman natin is cross multiply, um, pa-cross naman po. So, numerator to denominator, numerator to denominator. Okay? So, as long as isang numerator, isang denominator, pwede kayong mag-cancel out. Ang bawal lang po is numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. Bawal po yun. Okay? So, yan. So, try na natin ngayon. So, 12, ayun, natira na lang is 3xz. So, yun. 3, wala nga itong coefficient. X, wala po itong X. Ang Z naman, ayun, meron tayong Z. So, ito ay mawawala na. Magiging 0 na yan. Ito po ay magiging 2. Okay? Next, about um, sa itong side naman, 16Y squared and then ito. So, 1 na lang to 16, wala na tayo makakancel out kay 16 and 1. How about si Y squared and Y squared? So, pwede pa po yun. So, pwede natin siya i-cancel out po ulit. Okay? So, ngayon, ano yung mga natira? Yun na yung answers natin. So, we have 3X. Um, 3x times 16. Okay. Mumultiply. Huwag pong kakalimutan si multiplication sign. So, we have 48x. Okay? So, huwag pong mawinda. May multiply ko lang po yung natira. We have 3x. O, oh, 3x po, di ba? Si y and si z na cancel out natin. So, 3x times 16 is equal to 48x po. Next. Um, 1. Ayan, 1 na lang dito. 1 times z. Z squared pala. So, yun, Z squared na lang po. So, ibig sabihin, ito yung ating final answer po. Okay? So, ganun lang siya. So, 48X over Z squared. Okay? So, um, pwede nyo naman hindi kayo mag-cancel out katulad ng ginawa ko. Okay? Kung nahihirapan kayo mag-cancel out or kung i-determine kung sino dapat yung i-cancel out, um, pwede nyo naman silang i-diretso na. Okay? So, we have 12XYZ um, times 16Y squared. Pwede nyo silang i-multiply ng dire-diretso. Okay, pero sa dulo kasi nun, magsisimplify pa rin naman kayo. Kailangan nyo pa rin talagang mag-cancel out. Okay? So, ito kasi, sinimplify ko na lahat dito para yung answer simplify na hindi ko na kailangan ng lowest term. Okay po? So, meron pa akong next example. Just wait. So, for this next example, we have 8AB squared over 7B squared divided by 32A squared B over 21A. Okay? So, dito, division naman ng ating involved operation. So, we have to use the multiplicative inverse. Okay? So, ang multiplicative inverse, babalik na rin ko lang naman si divisor natin na um, 32A squared B and then si 21A. So, si denominator magiging numerator, si numerator magiging denominator. Ganun lang siya. 
So, kopyahin mo natin ang ating first expression. So, 8AB squared over 7B squared times, ayan po, huwag mong kakalimutan palitan ng sign, okay? Since um, we are applying the multiplicative inverse, we should also um, change the operation, okay? So, si division automatically magiging multiplication. And then, si denominator nga po, sabi ko, magiging numerator na sila siya pala. So, 32 magiging denominator naman. Nagkapalit lang po sila. So, ngayon, since multiplication na ang ating operation, mas madali na siya. Okay? Katulad lang nung ginawa natin dun sa ating first example po. So, let's just try to uh, multiply them. So, dito, again, same process pa rin ako. Pwede ko namang gawing um, multiply ko na lang silang derecho or cancel out po. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko muna, sige, try natin i-diretso lang. Okay? So, yun. So, we have 8 times 21. So, yun, coefficient to it, coefficient to lang. So, we have 21 times 8. So, we have 8 and then 8 times so 16. So, we have 168. Next, A, B squared and, B, and then A. So, we will be having A squared, B squared. Okay? Ayan po siya. Next, 7 times 32, a multiplied will be having 32 times 7. So, 7 times 2 is 14, carry 1, 21, and then 22. So, ang natira is, uh, ang sagot is 224, and then a squared po, and then, ilan yung b natin? b squared plus b is b cubed na po siya. Okay, so buray na natin. Ayan na siya. So, ngayon, sa tingin nyo ba, nakasimplify na siya? Hindi pa po siya nakasimplify. Ayan yung sinasabi ko sa inyo. Kailangan nyo pa rin siyang isimplify. Kaya, um, kaya ako po, hanggat maaari, sinasimplify ko na siya dun pa lang sa given. Okay? So, ito. Sige, stay muna natin siya dyan. Okay? So, try natin kapag nag-cancel out lang tayo. Mas madali siya. So, 8AB squared. Copy ko lang yung given. 7B squared. Times... 21a over 32a squared b. Ayan. So, dito kasi nakulta na agad ako nung pwedeng i-cancel out. So, ito. Pwede ba ito? So, si 8 and 7, hindi po. Okay? So, how about si A? Wala namang AC denominator. Si B po, B squared and B squared, pwede po. Kaya cancel out nyo na sila. Okay? Wala na tayong B squared. Next, 21 and 32, wala po silang um, common factor. A po, meron tayong A squared. So, yun. Cancel out si A. Si A squared po is magiging A na lang. Isa na lang siya. Kasi minus natin yung nasa numerator. Si B, wala naman po. Next, since wala po yung pa, uh, pa vertical natin, and then, uh, sa parallel expression, try naman natin yung pa cross. So, 8A, and then we have 32, 32AB. So, ang 32 po, pwede kay 8. Okay? So, meron silang GCF na 8 po. So, 8 divided by 8 is 1. 32 divided by 8 is 4. Yan. So, meron pa tayong A and A. So, cancel out na rin natin yan. So, B na lang po ang natira dito ngayon. Next, 21 and then 7. So, si 7 po pwede kay, um, si 21 pwede kay 7. So, 21 divided by 7 is 3. So, 7 divided by 7 is 1. So, ayan siya. So, ngayon, simplify nyo na lang kung ano yung natira. So, 1 times 3 is 3 na lang. Next, um, ano pa ba? Meron pa ba tira 1 na lang to And then dito, 4B na lang. Ayan lang siya. Okay. So, ito yung final answer. So, huwag kayo magtaka kung magkaiba sila. Hindi po sila magkaiba. O, try naman natin to simplify. So, A squared, cancel. A squared. B squared, B cube. Cancel out po si squared. Dito po magiging isa na lang siya. Kasi may squared na tayo. Next, divide po natin siya sa kanilang GCF. O, kayo na bahala ko ng GCF. Okay? Basta alam ko na yan. Next, uh, kapag simplify, it will become 3 and then ito po ay magiging 4. Okay? So, ayan. Pag nirewrite mo sila, ganun po din. 3 over 4. Okay? So, as you can see, pareho lang po sila. Okay? So, pareho lang siya ng answer dito. Pero, mas mahirap nga yung ide-direct mo talaga siyang umumultiply ka agad kasi, ayun nga, magka-cancel out ka, mas lalaki yung hahanapin mo, hahanapan mo ng GCF. Unlike kapag dito pa lang sa given, magka-cancel out ka, uh, mas mababa yung number, mas madaling hanapan ng GCF po. So, yun yun. So, 3 over 4B ang ating final answer for this given example. Okay? So, yun lang siya. 
So, meron pa ang isa, last na. So, for this last example, we have x squared minus 9x plus 20 over x squared minus 16 all over 2x squared over x plus 4 po. So, dito, um, yun, baka nandito kasi kayo, up, kasi apat na silang magkakapatong. So, pwede naman nating i-rewrite yun. Okay? So, we will be having x squared minus 9x plus 20 over x squared minus 16. And then, di ba, kapag fraction form po, di ba, divide po yun. Yan, division siya. So, we have 2x squared over x plus 4. So, same process lang as katulad ng ginawa natin sa number 2. Di ba, division yung example natin. So, ito, since division siya, apply ulit natin si multiplicative inverse. So, copy ng yung first expression, will be have, yun, x squared pa rin, minus 9x plus 20 over x squared minus 16. And then time, since apply, um, we are going to apply multiplicative inverse, yun, multiplication ng ating operation. And then, ito po, yung ating second expression is magiging, uh, yun, magkabalik pa na sila. Say, x plus 4 is numerator na, 2x squared is the denominator din po. Okay? So, ayan na siya. So, multiplication na siya, mas madali na po siya ang sagutan. Okay? Next naman po, itong ating, yan, magagamit natin dito si factorization. So, x squared minus 9x plus 20, factor po natin, factorize natin sila. Uh, it will become x minus 4, x minus 1. So, factors ni 20 na kapag in natin is 9 po yung answer. Okay? And then, since subtraction ang nauna nating operation and then addition, automatic po yung atin pong um, operation sa factors is all is subtraction po pareho. Okay? Kasi negative times negative is positive po para mag-satisfy siya. Okay? Next, x squared minus 16. Ito naman po is difference of two squares naman po. So, ito ay magiging x minus 4, x plus 4. Ayan na siya. Okay? So, since we factorize ko lang po siya. Perfect square 16, and pati po si x squared natin. And then, copy lang itong kabilang side. x plus 4 over 2x squared. Okay? Next, x minus 4 and then x minus 4, pwede po natin ma-cancel out. Okay? Next, ito naman po, x plus 4 and then x plus 4, pwede po natin ma-cancel out. Okay? So, kung ano yung natira, yun yung final answer natin. So, we have x minus 5 over 2x squared. Okay? So, ayan po yung ating final answer for this last example. Okay? So, I hope nakatulong po ako sa inyo. So, yun lang po. Goodbye!